Missing child support payments. It's a crime that cost one man his life after a violent van ride to jail. Tonight, we have the story of a Delray Beach man and the troubled company that transported him. Yeah, he is one of thousands of inmates private uh, for profit companies transport each year. Law enforcement agencies use them because it's a lot cheaper than doing it themselves. CBS 12 News investigates Danielle Wall looks into one of these companies and found allegations of abuse and even death. Stephen Gallick came to Florida looking for a fresh start. Suffering from chronic pain, mental health issues, and a recent divorce, he wanted a new life. Now in his 40s, Gallick moved into this Delray Beach apartment complex with his mother. In the summer of 2012, police responding to a noise complaint ran Gallick's name and discovered a warrant from Butler County, Ohio for missing four child support payments. He was ordered back to Ohio to appear in court. He was put on a van like this, contracted to transport inmates. The van operated by Prison Transportation Services of America, or PTS. It was during the ride when Gallic's health took a turn for the worse. He was in a lot of pain. And he had asked to go to the hospital and he kept saying how the that he was going to die and that he needed to go to the hospital. This is the testimony given by passengers who rode in a transport van with Stephen Gallick. They watched him deteriorate on a crisscrossing trip across Florida through Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee. I was concerned about his mental health. Why were you concerned? Because I seen this man really slip and didn't even know what world he was in and, and it's like, the drivers didn't care, you know. These video depositions are part of a lawsuit Gallic's family filed against PTS. It states what he needed was medication. What he got was a beating. Did either of the guards ever strike Stephen Gallic? Yes. Objection leading. First, the inmates testified a guard hit Gallic to keep him quiet. Then they say other prisoners in the van joined in. Did either of the guards say anything? To the prisoners. No, they let it. They allowed it to happen. They, that's the reason why they pulled the ban over for it to happen. They sat back there and watched it. And he stood at the door in the back of the van, and like watched them. And I, I remember hearing him say, "No headshots. No headshots. Just body shots." According to their testimony, Gallic died in the van shortly after. I was scared. I just saw a man be beaten to death. And the guards just like let it go down. I was freaked out. His death certificate reads cause undetermined. An investigation by the state of Tennessee found no crime was committed. We asked to see the records of that investigation and we were told by law they are not open to the public. The Gallic family blames his death on PTS of America. In a statement, they told us PTS treated him like he was a piece of trash, but he was a father, a brother, a son and loved by so many. The Gallics settled their lawsuit with PTS for a confidential amount, and they are not alone. People are treated worse than furniture when furniture is moved. Florida Congressman Ted Deutsch says it was Stephen Gallic's death that alerted him to the for-profit private prison transportation industry. CBS 12 News investigates uncovered four other deaths which occurred during PTS transport. Of those, two resulted in lawsuits against the company. We also found another 37 lawsuits from inmates alleging mistreatment at the hands of PTS. Their allegations range from sexual assault, physical abuse, and lack of medical care, bathroom breaks, and water. Since 2016, Congressman Deutsch has been asking the Department of Justice for more oversight and enforcement of the private prison industry while pushing PTS for answers. In this letter, Deutsch and two senators asked the company how many inmates have had medical emergencies or died in their care? What kind of training and policies do their guards follow? Have you gotten a response? And the only thing we've been told is that they follow best practices. Based in Nashville, Tennessee, they are the largest company in their industry. They hold contracts with law enforcement agencies across the country. If it's your family member who's being transported from one place to another, and your family who might have been accused of something and is hoping to have the ability to defend himself or herself and never has that chance because they die while being transported, I, I think most people would, would agree that that's a terrible outcome and it shouldn't be tolerated. We reached out to PTS multiple times for a comment, calling them four times, emailing them four times, but they never responded. Danielle Waugh, CBS 12 News Investigates.